Well, let's be honest. I think we're all looking for ways to maybe rev up our metabolism and hopefully maybe get into uh, losing some weight. And our next guest, we are happy to welcome back. She's all, uh, always a, a wealth of information, gets us thinking differently. And this morning we're concentrating on the thyroid. And you say that there's a way to maybe supercharge our thyroid, which I'm glad you're talking about this because I feel like we talk about the thyroid a lot when you, you know, when people yeah. are talking about weight loss together, right? Well, we should be if we're not. And to be honest with you, it's my story. I am hypothyroid. As you know, there is no treatment. The medication just treats the symptoms. So a lot of people think, oh, I'm going to go get my thyroid tested. Well, mine didn't show up on a blood test, but I probably am one of the worst cases, you know, heredity induced of a thyroid, like I'm always freezing. Um, and, and why is that pertinent in today's world is what people don't realize is if you've never had a thyroid issue, the stresses of today's world is bonking our thyroid. Stress raises cortisol levels, the stress hormone. And when the stress hormone levels go up, our thyroids bonk. Well, and I feel like with the thyroid, there's so many different things it can do. So I guess that's where my comments, like I, I feel a lot of people talk about it and go, oh, well, have you have your thyroid checked? But yet, I mean, there, there's, it's a full gamut of what can be going on with your body. So what say you, what do you have there in front of you? What do we need to, to really focus on? Well, this is why I love you. You ask the right questions. <laughs> Should you go get your thyroid checked? I'm not telling you not to, but I'm saying, if you're really struggling and your gut is telling you, like on my website, I have some symptoms, patient heal thyself. Know your body, trust yourself. It's not your fault, one. And two, there are some things that you could do regardless of what the test says you should be doing this in today's world. And one is eat for your thyroid body type. This is the one that I really screwed up. I was juicing and putting kale and cabbage, which you see, and all of those are goitrogenic vegetables, meaning they inhibit the thyroid even further. So you've got stress slowing it down, one. Two, you feel tired. It makes you crave sugar and carbs, so you eat them. Maybe you have a drink because you're feeling depressed, all of which shut it down more. At the end of the day, your thyroid's sleeping, even if you don't have a thyroid issue. So get, get the heck rid. I love cabbage, but I eat a lot less of it because I need my thyroid functioning full speed because you're right. It is our body's superpower, health, immunity, depression, energy, and especially when it comes to weight loss. So my recommendation is fast every day for 12 hours minimum. Everybody can and should be doing this, by the way. All right, so you are on board with fasting. That's a whole oh, other segment it. that we need I to do. It. But I'm all about fasting the right way because there is a wrong way. So 12 hours, not more and not less. At 12 hours, here's the kicker and the game changer. When you break the fast, you have to break it properly. And protein shakes are all the rage right now. And for good reason, when they're right, they work. Our protein shake, the complete protein shake is micro filtered. So we remove all the allergens and lactose that also impair the thyroid, sugar, lactose, and boost metabolism 25%. And because it has all of the amino acids in a perfectly complete form, it feeds the thyroid. So it gives you a 25% metabolic boost without stimulants. And it's yummy. <laughs> I like it. This can be a lot, I think, for people literally to digest and try it to can. figure out what's the best for them. You have worked with so many people um, for years now. Where, where should people start? How do they figure out what's the best you know, way for them to, to really, you know, make sure that their thyroid is on track. What do you suggest? Well, that's a really good point because in today's world of social media and people are living and they're working out, which is actually can make it worse. You need to talk to an expert. And if you need help on here, not only that, you need just someone who's been where you are and is going where you want to go or has lived there. Because a lot of fake news is out there telling people work out more, work out harder, do this. To talk to a thyroid expert. I'm a metabolic expert and I do this for this reason because I struggled and I wish I had heard the advice I just gave, which is do things that are proper for your thyroid. Choose the right complete protein shake. And rather than juicing and doing a quick fix, which is another thing people think is better. First of all, I hate green juices anyway, so don't drink them. They're icky. But mint on behalf of, you know, 
St. Patrick's Day, I add and have what I call a thyroid boost, which is a natural way to enhance your thyroid. And the reason I'm saying that everybody should do this is because mine is not a stimulant. It has an adaptogen called ashwagandha. The ashwagandha advantages, it helps your body adapt and deal with stress. And it will not harm you if you don't need it, but it helps detox, cleanse, and nourish the thyroid with the specific nutrients that it needs because just because you're popping gummies all day doesn't mean you're feeding your thyroid. You, you don't know what you don't know. So I'm happy to help, by the way, through COVID. I'm telling people, you got questions, send them to me because I want to help. All right. You also have a special offer. We have uh, literally just a couple seconds left. 30% off. Is that right? That's correct. LimFit30. And um, if you need help, I'm here. All right. We always love when you are here with us. Thank you, Lisa.